What's up you guys? This is Fury D10 where I talk to you guys about interesting topics going around the gaming world. So let's get this started. In today's gaming sphere, having the prettiest graphics is a big concern for many gamers. Sorry guys, I couldn't help it. <laughs> Don't take my sarcastic joke too seriously, okay? Leading the trend for the previous graphics and 4K gaming, it's Sony's PS4 Pro and Microsoft's upcoming Xbox X. By the way, Xbox X is such a horrible name. And you might say, but if you're talking about gaming, the best 4K gaming experience, you cannot get it anywhere else but PC, right? To that my friend, I'll say you are right, but cost is a big problem. And there is no doubt that PC provides the best 4K gaming, but you need to spend a lot of money. And how much money you probably say? It's about 1,500, give or take. This is where Sony and Microsoft are trying to appeal those gamers that want to experience 4K gaming but can't afford the money to buy a PC for it. And then you might say, but can't they just build their own PC and cut the cost? Well, to that, most people would definitely be inclined to do the extra steps for building a PC. <coughs> um, I'm one of those people. <laughs> Sony and Microsoft are trying to make that experience cost-effective and easy to transition to. And I believe that this is the biggest appeal having 4K gaming on a console versus a PC. Now, I'm not here to start a war with PC gamers because I know that PC has a lot of advantages to, you know, with when it comes to overall gaming, especially 4K. I believe the PS4 Pro and the Xbox are a good starting points for 4K gaming. Now, the question is, is it worth it? And aside from the consoles, you still need to buy a 4K TV, and that's at least another 600 plus. And this leads me to ask the questions. In the words of Nintendo of America president Reggie, is 4K gaming audience too limited? Now let's talk realistically, 4K gaming is limited to a specific demographic, which is most likely for gamers that want to experience 4K gaming at a cost effective price or want to just simply try it. The casual gamers most likely don't know what 4K is. And by the way, it just means that there's more pixels in your screen making this resolution crisper and sharper. To be exact, there's 3840 pixels by 2160 lines. And let me explain HDR because I think a lot of people don't know what HDR is as well when it comes with 4K. It just means that there's wider granular range of colors and lighting to the screen. And granular means just more particles are added to the colors. That's just some of the basics, you know, 4K and HDR that maybe you might find interesting if you didn't know about it now. Now I do agree with Reggie's comments to a certain degree that 4K gaming audience is too limited at the moment. 4K TVs are becoming more affordable so it won't take long before most households own one. The only question is how long will it take for console technology to be able to play games at native 4K and not just upscale 4K because there is a huge difference between those two things. The only place at the moment that you can get native 4K is only PC, which is most likely too expensive for most people. And for consoles to bridge that gap is probably going to take a couple of years and to make it more affordable. I can only be optimistic to think that it is not too far in the future. Alright guys, tell me your thoughts about 4K gaming on consoles. Do you think it's worth investing on a 4K TV and buying a PlayStation Pro or Xbox X? And maybe you truly don't give a shit about 4K gaming and are just happy with your 1080p and perhaps you even want just to be stable at 60 frames per second, which, you know, I, I think I'll be good with that too. <laughs> I am really interested in your thoughts, you guys, and please share them down in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and share it with your friends. And if you also want to stay updated for more videos, might as well hit the subscribe button. And remember that this was Fury D10. I'll be seeing you guys later.